All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a how-to video and also a review um, on this Ultra Vision Chameleon film. This is the Optimum line. Um, so when you get your package, it's gonna come in a little plastic baggie. Um, and then it's also gonna come in with a poster as well. We're gonna go ahead and take this out, um, clean up the windshield, and then lay it on the film. So this is the film, as you can see. This one does have a little bit more of a blue color to it. Um, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the windshield, get it laid on, and then we'll talk some more about it. So first off, we just wanna clean the windshield. Um, I got a microfiber towel into some glass cleaner. Make sure there's no dust or anything on it. Next, we're gonna spray the window and we're actually gonna use a uh, dryer sheet um, with a little bit of water. And what that's gonna do is allow the film to, it's gonna take away the static on the windshield and allow the film to slide a little bit more. Here's our dryer sheet. You just wanna rub the windshield, make sure you get the whole thing and allow that to dry before we lay the the film. Now we're gonna make our three little lines. And before you lay it, you wanna make sure that you're shrinking um, with the liner side up and not the film side up. So what I'm doing is just rubbing the two pieces of film against each other. Um, if the film slides, that's going to be the fil that's going to be the liner side, and if it sticks together while you're rubbing it, that's going to be the film side. So you want to make sure the film side is down. So you are going to have a little bit of the excess film, and what we're going to do is just trim that off. Okay, so we got the windshield all laid, and then you'll notice on the corners, I also laid some tape. Um, that's so that way the film sticks and stays put onto the windshield while I'm shrinking it. Um, and one thing that you're gonna notice about this film, it's really thick. Um, so the way we're gonna shrink it is we're actually gonna push a whole bunch of hot air or heat from my heat gun under the film, and then we're gonna keep heating it up back and forth until you start to notice that the, the bottom is gonna start to flutter and then it's gonna close on itself. And when it closes on itself, um, all that hot air is gonna be trapped inside and then we're gonna heat it up um, from the outside in a circular motion and we're gonna, we're gonna heat up the whole thing all at once. So I'm gonna start, and it does take a little bit of time, um, so you gotta be really patient with this film. And as you can see, it started to flutter, it started to close on itself, so now I'm gonna start heating it up. I'm gonna go in a circular motion, make sure I get everything from top to bottom. And then you're gonna wanna let the, sit, the film sit for about 10 seconds or so, let it cool off, and the film you're actually gonna notice is gonna shrink itself just cause there's a lot of hot air underneath. Um, all that film is gonna kinda settle, and then once that settles, um, you can use either a card, a squeegee, or I like to use my forearm just cause it's a little bit bigger. 
um, and we'll show you that just in just a second. So it still needs a little bit more heat. Um, so I'll push those out. We got that all down. Um, now we're just gonna repeat the same steps um, for the other side. So we're just gonna shoot up a whole bunch of air until that the top of it kind of like starts to flutter. And then you're gonna notice it fold on itself. Um, and then after it folds on itself, all that hot air is trapped inside. And then we're gonna go ahead and heat up the whole film again. So we're about done. Uh, just gotta push out all the air out of this bottom one. Um, and if you do it right and you apply enough heat from underneath, you should be able to just squeegee it out completely without any fingers or anything at the bottom. I think we got this side pretty good. Got a couple fingers under the windshield line, but we're gonna go ahead and shrink those down as well. Um, just so that way we don't have any fingers pop up when we install. And then it is always a good idea just to go over the heat gun um, with your squeegee over the bottom and just hit it with heat. Make sure there's no fingers that pop up or anything like that. Um, and then we'll go ahead and cut out our film and then install our windshield. All right, so we got the windshield all cut out right behind me. Um, we got our soak shield and our towels inside of the car um, to protect the dash from any water. We got our soak shield down there if you can see that. Um, and now we're just gonna go ahead and install it. Alright guys, so we just finished up the Porsche. We got the two front windows uh, tinted in our Lumar ATC film and our premium film. We also got the windshield tinted in that Ultra Vision Optimum uh, Chameleon film as well. It looks really nice. This uh, film has a blue hue to it that you probably noticed. Um, overall, it looks amazing. It looks really good, gives it a nice little touch, especially goes well with the blue color Porsche. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment, like, and hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you guys next time.